This tutorial describes how to cut a pattern to fit a positional hoop. We have opened a Brother PES file and want to cut it so that it will fit into a Genome Giga Hoop. First we select the gen Genome Giga Hoop from the Hoop Selection dialog. Notice that for a Giga Hoop, arrows appear to indicate the position of the various hoops comprising the hoop. In this case, position 2 is the right positional hoop. Position 1 is the left positional hoop. The easiest way to determine how and if a pattern needs to be cut is to first try to save it to the positional hoop. In this case, we open the file Save As dialog, choose the JEF genome type, and click Save. This tells us that color blocks 4 and 5, which are the light green and dark green color blocks in the thread list, need to be cut in order for this pattern to be savable as a positional hoop pattern. So we open up the cutting dialog, and we notice that there's an overlap between the red and the green hoop right near the center here that I'm indicating with my mouse cursor. And since we don't have to cut anything but the two green patterns, we can simply draw a cookie cutter cutting outline through the stem, which is the narrowest part to be cut, around the red flower, which does not need to be cut to fit into the hoop. And then we click the cut button, the cut pattern button. Now notice that three additional color blocks have been added to our thread, uh, <coughs> thread pane. These correspond to the right pattern indicated here, and the remaining five colors correspond to the left pattern. Notice that the left pattern fits completely within the red hoop, the left hoop and the right pattern now fits completely within the green hoop. So now if we do a save as again choosing the genome pattern we do a save and we get the information that the pattern has been saved. In this case there's a right pattern which has a suffix 1 added to the name of the pattern file and a left pattern which has a suffix 2 and this is, this is not true for all uh, positional hoops, but it is for the giga hoop. We can close this file and, f and reopen it. Notice that it tells us that there are two pattern files comprising this giga hoop pattern. And you can see that it has opened in the giga hoop and it has remained split as we split it earlier.